I've got two PSPs here today, and well, of course, they both have some problems. So let's see what's wrong and if we can do something about it. The first one has a battery in it, but it will not power on. Plugging in a charger, we're not getting any lights, and it still won't turn on. I'll take out the battery and check the voltage. I'm only getting about 2.2 volts when we should be at 3.6, so this battery is definitely low, but perhaps not completely dead. On a charger, the PSP should be able to turn on without a battery, which it does not do, so clearly there is a bigger problem here. Time to take it apart. There's a screw behind this sticker, so I use some alcohol to loosen the adhesive while removing it. I'll place it on some wax paper to save it for later. Now we can start removing the seven screws securing the shell halves. Then a plastic spudger is very useful to release the clips inside and separate the top shell. Now we can release the right hand clip for the home bar right here, and this should be enough to allow us to carefully walk the screen out. Then we fold it over so we can get to the PCB. I tried the basics like disconnecting and reconnecting the various power cables, but unfortunately this did not help. So next, I checked the power fuse with a meter, and found it was an open circuit. I didn't have a replacement fuse, so temporarily I just decided to short the gap by removing the fuse and soldering a small wire in place. And now we have continuity on the power line. Sadly, it still wasn't turning on, and I was running out of ideas. Something odd I noticed is that this chip was heating up very quickly when I would plug in the charger. It made me believe something was shorting to ground, so I pulled out a thermal camera to get a better look. So now I'll plug in the charger, and whoa, that does not look good. You can see heat generating rapidly from that chip, and if I left it like this for too long, things would certainly start burning, melting, you know, bad stuff. So we don't want that. I'll unplug it, and just note that you'll see artifacts in the thermal images that might look like hotspots, but really are related to light reflections and differences in emissivity on various surfaces. If there is a short circuit inside that chip, it can't be repaired without replacing it. I'm still curious if another component is causing this, so I decide to completely remove the main board to get a better look at the components on the back side. We're facing towards the other side of the board in the thermal image now, so let's plug it in. Well, that's interesting. Slowing down the footage, there's a chip here, I think it's a transistor, and it gets hot just before the larger chip starts heating up and takes over. Could it mean that this transistor is shorted and causing the problem? I'll get back to that in a second, but first we're going to switch gears and look at the other PSP. This one has the same behavior where it just won't turn on with the charger plugged in. Inside, this one also had a bad power fuse, so again, I bypassed it with a fine wire. Unfortunately, the second PSP has the exact same issue as the first one. Something is shorted to ground, causing the system to not power on and this chip to heat rapidly. My only lead is this transistor, which also gets quite hot as I showed earlier on the first PSP. There are multiple of these chips on the board, so I'm going to try swapping one from another area on the board to the questionable area on the other. I don't have high hopes, but it's the last thing I can think to try. So we'll remove the old chip and swap in a replacement from the other board. And here's what it looks like when we're done. Let's see if that made any difference. And it didn't. Dang. Oh well, it was worth a try. Sadly, we still have two broken PSPs. I think in both cases, something is definitely shorted internally to that large chip, which means they'd need to be replaced. But at that point, you might as well just put in a whole new motherboard since you'd need one to get the part anyway. I promise in my other videos, the repairs are successful. Even though I couldn't get these going, I thought maybe others in the community could take some insight from it. Thanks for watching, and next time I see you, we'll have a happier ending. Take care.